Hey there, lovely soul. Thanks for joining me for this behind the scenes tarot and oracle for the energy update for May 2021 20, Stargate. Here it is the 7th, and we had the Stargate beginning on the 5th. So 5 5 2021. It was a 5 5 5 portal, really bringing in a lot of intense energies and um, light codes for change and a ca like catalytic type events in our lives globally like on the on the micro and macro so globally and, and individually for us all uh so what i'm doing here and it's interesting um i kind of thought i would be doing a, an energy update towards the beginning of the month and i was guided to hold off on that and um that the download would come as to when I uh, I was supposed to do this and I knew it was going to be somewhere around the beginning of the Stargate thought it was going to be sooner than it was still it wasn't and then um, it was like no we need to get a couple days in so people can feel it instead of me doing it ahead of time like at the beginning of the month um, talking about the energy update and the upcoming stargate so whether that's two two three three four four to now five five um it, that when we're in it and you've experienced it for a couple days it may resonate a little bit more so here we are on the evening it is what time is it nine twenty i'm sorry ten almost ten ten nineteen i don't know why that was so hard to get out um but like I was like waiting for the 1020 for some reason I don't know I don't know what that's about um <laughs> I don't know it's still it's still 1019 uh like sometimes you think you're gonna see something and then you see something else and you're like wait where is that I don't know very odd anyway uh so here we are on the 7th on the 7th there are some cards on the 7th of the the month the fifth the fifth the five month the may month <laughs> good lord we got four moonology cards here and you just saw me uh clearing my cards with sage and pal santo and bay leaves i have a whole a whole bowl here um of a bunch of different things just dried flowers you know that come from my arrangements and I'll put them in there as well and all that good stuff so and I clear my cards after every reading with the um the smoke so anyway what we're doing here is is um getting cards to just give us a little bit of extra insight just collectively uh this isn't for any particular sign this is if you're watching this there's going to be messages for you you're 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 part of the collective you're part of the oh how interesting okay so um, let me let's get into these cards take time to breathe out disseminating moon is coming up here Take time to breathe out. Then a new start is coming. New moon. Then it is time to take action. So this one's new moon in Aries. And then new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Oh my goodness. These cards make me so freaking happy. <laughs> Um, take time to breathe out just a, you know what you never do, I bet, is completely clear your lungs out because we don't, we don't normally breathe that way unless you're, yeah, unless you're doing some real deep, um, breath work, it's a very rare occasion that you take all of the oxygen out of your lungs it actually takes a lot of effort and it feels really weird but it is so good for you so let's just do it right now let me show you how to do that so we're gonna take 
Uh, and I like you have to do this three times more, but not less. That's the rule. <laughs> okay, so we'll do this three times, and uh, this is completely. I hope I have enough room here because you do need room in front of you to completely bend over. So the best thing to do is to take a nice deep breath. So kind of bend over, and I get a lot of air out of your lungs. Don't push too hard, and then nice deep breath in, but steady. So. Hold it and then <sighs> blowing all the way out. And then a nice deep breath in again. I wanted to talk you through that, so it was kind of weird for me. And I was like, oh, I'm going to blow out all my candles. So deep breath in, bring all of the air, but you have to do so. So it's not like a like that because then you won't get as much. You have to bend over nice and slow. Fill it up and then pushing all the air out and then in and then out. Last one, and then out. And then breathe in normally. <sighs> gets your blood flowing, it gets everything kind of woo-wee invigorated because your body's like, what in the hell is happening right now? And you really want to push all that air out, like we keep going and going and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing because we keep so much air on like in the lower cavities of our the lower chambers of our lungs as we breathe in and out from the top part. So it's really so like energy will just sit there literally like air from, I don't even know. <laughs> energy from I don't even know can get trapped in there seriously so it's really good idea to do that if you could do that outside in nature of course that's better or if you're um get the steam going before you take a shower do it and just give yourself time to like if you get lightheaded I don't think you really get lightheaded but you know just acclimate um, or by like in front of a diffuser with, with essential oils, really bringing in that energy. Uh, so yeah, so take time to breathe out. We want to, we want to be in control of our, out of, of our energy. Sorry. I'm really bad with this thing of our energy, which means we need to be in control of our life force, which means we need to be in control of what fuels our life force, which means we need to think about the air we breathe. And of course the water we drink and the food we intake and what we're consuming on all, all levels. But on a basic level here, one of the most basic is air. Because think about this, like you could have a pile of food, but if the air is gone, you're not lasting more than a couple minutes if you're lucky before you pass out and your body is going into shock because there's no oxygen to fuel your blood and you will die. Just the way it is. However, if you have air, you can go a really long time without food before you'll die. It won't be very comfortable, but you won't die. Water is a different story. There's only, you know, a couple of days before you'll start to get, start to hal really hallucinate if you don't have any fluids and have a hard time. Just your, your body will literally dry up because you're supposed to be like it, 60% plus water and um so air is 
the most important element to our bodies that we need on a moment to moment basis to keep our bodies moving and going. So, and it makes us, um, the way that we take in air, how we breathe. Back in the day, I used to find myself holding my breath so much. And I, I, I know that it was because, if you don't know my story, I used to be chronically ill with fibromyalgia and very, very sick person just because I'm a medical medium and psychic physical empath of the nth degree. And um, I absorb energy, but I wasn't clearing energy. I had no idea what my body was doing. I didn't associate my... Um, intuitive abilities or my psychic abilities to have any kind of correlation to my physical hell but it's a very direct correlation there so um you can read about my story i'm gonna do a video where i get into it um i get it there is a uh, one of my earlier podcasts i'm pretty sure i get into it i have to go through my library but i'm gonna do a video sometime soon here i'm um, getting more into that but anyway we need to, especially during a Stargate, it's extremely important to keep our frequency in check. Our energy is as high as possible, that we listen to our bodies, but we don't let the triggers take over and lower our vibration because we do tend to be more sensitive, all of us, not just those of us that are extra sensitive, but everybody tends to be more sensitive so anyhow um take time to breathe out do that exercise with the breathing clear out your energy as often and as as deeply as you can uh and aside from that we need to listen to our I, I keep hearing listen to your body listen to your body listen to your body if you're tired rest if you're hungry eat if you're low in energy and you feel the pull to go outside for a walk doesn't matter what time of day it is of course do it safely do it like listen to your listen to your body and and at the same time have a conversation with your body, you know, check in, ask questions. If you start to ask your body what's going on, your body will tell you. It's meant to tell you. You guys just don't, most people, I don't want to assume, maybe you're really great at this. Most people don't have an open line of communication with their body and really know what the heck is going on. This is why we go to the doctor and we're like, give me answers, man. And they're like, uh, okay, I'll do the best I can because maybe it's like this or like this or like this that we see in history. And you maybe let's do a test and see if you line up to that. <laughs> when the truth of the matter is, is that if we're, if we're keeping things in, in line and in check, we will get the answers. Of course, you know, it takes practice and all that stuff. And then you don't have to be a medical medium. Um... It's just we're not we're not taught how to do it that way. <laughs> we're taught to just do whatever to ourselves and our bodies and push and pull and twist and turn and neglect and abuse and talk down to and ugh the shit we do to ourselves, man. It is brutal. And I'm not not no judgment. I used to do all of the above and I'm so Still, we're I, it's a it's always a work in progress for to take care of ourselves okay from the archangels Ariel spread your wings do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar and there is a lot of glare okay there we go a little bit better isn't she so beautiful? I love these cards so much. Oh, goodness. That coming in with a new start is coming. Well, if there, is, if there isn't any other perfect card for 
a Stargate, it is a new start is coming. Uh, that, especially this Stargate, <laughs> especially the May Stargate, the May month is the first month of the year, believe it or not, that the ball really starts getting um, momentum and moving forward. The first four months of the year, those first um, f four Stargates and 44 days combined of time before we get to the next set of of days in our in our stargate which is the 5th month we are we are still january processing out the the year before and especially if it was um, like these two years right now, 19 to 20, 20 to 21, because we're going from last year in a decade to brand new decade. And you saw what a ultra massive reset 2020 was like 2020, 2020 vision, see, seeing more clearly and so much came up to the surface about so much it was very intense of course i don't have to tell us all this we were all pushed inside to separate so we could see life from a very different point of view and everybody saw and handled that very differently everybody's view and scope of themselves each other the world how things work how things don't work what the illusions and so much happen not to mention the i think i th i haven't looked at the number recently but it's i think around two million plus people and counting especially with what's going on in india right now of people dying from covid and that group of souls having a real big impact on the collective and how they're working with their afterlife and with us and their loved ones that are still here helping to raise their consciousness and vibration as the incoming light codes uh, hit us through this 2021, this year of five, this year of change. And, and so anyway, the the going from 19 to 20, 20 to 21, um, there was a big shift in energy as we transitioned into the 21 year. And um, January in any year is is like, how, how do I put that? It's like, um. It's like after you wash a car and you and you draw and you you know go through let's say you go through those like I was trying to think of a different one but it's the one that came first and nothing else is coming so I'm like we have another one nope that's the vision okay so you know when you go through those like drive through uh car washes and and the air comes and it's all and it and it's strong air and it pushes all the water off but it's not completely dry still a little wet that's what i saw i saw a car that was like cleaned because there was so much cleaned off of it and even washed off of it and dried off of it but that there's still that like on the sides and here and there there's still water and if you really want your car to look good you're going to get out you're not going to drive away you're going to get out you're going to take out towels and you're going to dry your car so you can get that all clean that is what january into february is about it's about it's about finishing things up with what we just did the year before. So January is kind of a void month um, in the process of the, the, the next of the, when we say new year and everything's like, no, if you think back to January, it was just like, I mean, think about the things that happened in January and how there was still so much friction happening from the year before. Okay, so then we get into February and March and April where more pieces are starting to be put together, like enough on the path ahead for us to 
start moving. It's like, what's the point where we barely got any road here? You need to build a certain amount of path to even bother moving everything into a new space and time and then building on that. Otherwise, you're just moving stuff forward, moving stuff forward, moving stuff forward as you're putting bricks down. You know what I mean? Like you're going to have your like home base of supplies and then take it as you go. Once you get to a certain point, you're going to be like, okay, we need to move home. We need to move home base. And that's where May comes in. And so with that said, uh, this a new start is coming with May. Uh, this lovely card here. It's about uh, truly that. Like we are really starting in a, in a very different set of energies when we get to May in any year. But given where we are with the new decade and what transpired in 2020 it's extraordinarily significant this month of may and it being a 555 month and stargate and we have um a divine the a divine feminine uh with Venus and uh, the five five and the five really representing this this impregnated create creative nurturing fem divine feminine and and motherly vibe and we're all really um, starting to shift in the especially like in the northern sorry southern. <laughs> northern hemisphere starting to shift into, into spring and summer being able to come out not only that with the pandemic everything is changing people are connecting back to each other and it's just this whole new set of circumstances that's happening right now and so that's also really really big here it's time to take action uh, with this new beginning, we are going to have to take action. It is not just going to happen. So we are going to be definitely getting uh, downloads and we're going to be guided strongly, I'm hearing, strongly, like it, in directions where it's going to be like pretty plain how you're feeling about stuff, what's going on, the feelings of others, that sort of thing. Clairvoyance with Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So there you go. More energies coming through. And also he's saying, please tell people to work on clearing their chakras in whatever way they're guided to, whether it's um, listening to frequencies, uh, uh, breath work, energy healing, uh, either on your own or with with a healer like myself. Um, <laughs> but that dur especially during this time, during the Stargate, it's really, really important to work with your with your chakras and opening them up because incoming light codes are activating in the in the energy body and if you're blocked and twisted and have attachments and have um, a lot of shadowy energy going on in there that's keeping the flow from being what it's meant to be you're not going to be able to integrate all of that it just won't it can't it'll you know it won't it can't come into the body and it just is what it is so you're in control of that you're always in control of that okay next up peace with shamuel peace comes from remembering that only love is real yes and healing um connection to the divine comes from love and so all your guidance coming through is so very loving all of our guidance is so very loving coming through just meant to uh motivate us and and support and support us what do we got indigo and crystal children with metatron you have a bond with children in particular in particular you can help children who are sensitive most definitely so if you're an empath 
a light worker you have always been that and I uh, and you probably felt different as a child or felt more sensitively maybe or even more sickly and to some degree um very connected with animals and all that good stuff and as an adult children find you gravitate to you and they bring out the best in you too uh they remind you of you on a soul-based level and how important it is to stay childlike with that inner wonder so if you have not yet done my meditation for healing the inner child and um integrating with the inner child which means really taking responsibility for your inner child as you move forward on your journey i highly suggest that you check that out and hold on while i remove my dog from a place that she should not be she's kind of blind what are you doing she's like in a cupboard trying to get through come here and she has this default setting of resistance so you go to guide her and she pushes back on anything you try to guide her to do. It is extraordinarily frustrating to deal with somebody who's always in resistance <laughs> like that dog. Um, okay, career transition with Shamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career train career change. Uh, so there's more change. A new start is coming. Time to take action. So if you start feeling like, uh, either it's time to leave a place that just, to, and even if you don't have necessarily everything put in, like everything set up right now you can you might really start to to get these messages for you to uh work towards this change this transition because uh something is happening or it, i'm also hearing this could just be like take something you love like something creatively something you love doing and start to take it more seriously like you could have you could be like i'm this but i love doing this and but i'm this or this is what i'm supposed to do like on a more serious level whatever that is like for me it's like my my soul coaching my healing my mediumship my psychic advice doing this like kind of thing like i'm doing now whether it's generally or individually is something that i'm meant to do it's it's just it is what I'm meant to do. Um, it's not always easy to work with people and healing them. It, it working the way that I do is very deep and it's extremely rewarding. And I love receiving the feedback that I do from my clients about how great they feel afterwards and. It just fills me up with so much joy to get people feeling better and more connected. But it doesn't like do much for my inner child. <laughs> it's, it does, I mean, it, I've always been a helper, even when I'm a psychic and a healer from when I was a, a little kid too. But I, but it wasn't exactly the most fun experience for me um either and it was confusing not understanding why people just didn't take their guidance and live a better life and were always in resistance and didn't you know wanted like instant fixes and and you know just god or their angels to make things better and it was like you're not doing what you were told to do and it was very frustrating for me i didn't understand the complexities of adults <laughs> As a child, it seemed very simple. Just do what you're told. <laughs> but uh, humans, adult humans, are very complex creatures. This is why I enjoy working with animals so much. Because they're so simple. Like, I don't feel good. Make me better. Uh, like, And when you, they know that you want to heal them and make them better, they'll, they're like, okay. They release 
when they can you connect with them on a certain level they release that apprehension and that fear and they allow you to do that whereas uh, humans especially adults not so much <laughs> they're a little different so anyway so it doesn't it doesn't it's it's complex it is it is like i said unbelievably rewarding but it's it's definitely work and it's not very creative it's energetically spiritually unbelievably intense and amazing but that's where my art comes into play and it's and it's been coming in more and more and more because the balance just hadn't been there because I was so ultra focused for so long on like this mission of healing but the guidance had come through and I you know I'm one of those stubborn people where I'm like no I gotta focus on this and they're like you really got to do your art and I'm like I know I'll get to it I'll get to it I'll get to it I'll get to it and I just kept putting it off and not making it a priority and seeing how it how that whoa how that <laughs> affected things and um with with me and so we all need to have balance in our lives of you know our mission can be two and three and four fold as to what we do and put out and and yeah I've got a lot of lanes that I work with and so it's important to think about that like when it comes to this career transition I told you this whole story here to 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 let you know that you may have one circumstance of soul mission as a healer for example but that's not it. If you have, like, say you're a mu musician or you're also a chef or you're also an artist like me, if you're also, um, you know, somebody who is a hiking enthusiast and likes to take, like, do that sort of, whatever it is, I don't know. Like, there's so many things. Like, we have to be in balance of these of for our for our own well-being to 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 work and function properly we we need all these different components these com different ways of creating and changing energy in our universe so and how that affects others too is very important so with that said love <laughs> career transition think about changing what's going on there's something about where you're at now and how it's working right now that's just not the end all be all and I think you probably are not feeling or hearing this for the first time like you probably are like yeah things are what I've been doing or what I did is totally different and I'm going in a new direction or I'm changing it up or adding to it or something like that. Okay, let's see what other cards we got here. Clear sentience with Raguel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Exactly. So as we go through the Stargate and through getting and, and with getting incoming downloads and activations and light codes coming in to integrate with us, um, we're going to feel that in our body. We're going to get guidance in that way. So we need to pay attention to what's going on physically prioritize with metatron so metatron coming out here twice with indigo children and now with prioritize which doesn't surprise me metatron is always front and center when it comes to the stargates because we work with a lot of sacred geometry within ourselves our own um soul print merkabas and the universal merkaba and um and he and he his whole that's his whole his whole game so focus on your highest priorities i will help you get organized and motivated so um spread your wings and career transition prioritize on your highest priority so there's a lot of action you see that a lot of action energy happening here and outdoors with joe fiel go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress gain new creative ideas so one of the tools to help us one of the biggest most important Important, potent tools that we have to work with if you want to call it a tool is nature is uh 
is the sun, the air, the water, the mountains, the trees, the birds, the grass, the the hills, the ocean, the desert, uh, and everything that comes with it so we can connect with the elements and the four points of uh, of enter of earth, water, air, sorry, earth, water, air, and fire. Um, take you and it's either you know consider the sun the fire and you the fire you are the energy source the the paper that's the way I, I always see that like regardless of your astrological sign your energy is fire always um, okay so go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas that coming through with prioritize with Metatron focus on your highest priorities I will help you get organized and motivated so you combine these two you've got some really intense guidance and energy coming through okay and then lastly with oh not lastly we're doing some whoa what am i doing i put these there we go um we're gonna get a couple more too okay so but i want to get we're working with the 12th tarot Ooh, what is that it just flipped we got knight of discs and works <laughs> <laughs> a lot of energy coming through uh, with the three of discs with works and knight of discs taking in that solar energy ready just taking a little like taking a breather before <laughs> as i put it on this take take time to breathe out card or right next to it um and right on top of the new moon card and works coming in as well um and those two flipped as is this one here what do we got ah debauch with seven with a seven of cups uh oh oh interesting so <laughs> energy coming in to shake things up is kind of the way of the stargate it's meant to loosen up any kind of little sh any kind of energies that are are there with um that are net that are of the negative or lower vibrations because it's like are these gonna go or are they gonna stick or what are you doing with that with that because the stargate is about creating uh solidifying and dissolving timelines because you can only have so many timelines in play any given one of us can only have so many timelines in play and since they're all connected and that's truly what a stargate is about is about timelines and creating dissolving and uh solidifying timelines and how they all work together with each other we this is a huge matrix of energy that we have here upon gaia and everybody has their own set of timelines and everybody's timelines intersect with everybody else on some level so every month we go through this this stargate business so we can we can see where everybody's at and we and we move into the next time frame with what's going on in our in our the rest of any given month and into the next stargate okay what do we have here valor with the seven of wands uh science with a six of swords look at that i love this card um all these are in reverse but let's see here princess of wands 
lot of fire energy here. We've got a tiger. So we have this like divine feminine energy with the sun. Uh, so check that out. Princess of Wands. And then we have Two of Swords with Peace. And then we have uh, the Eight of Wands with Swiftness. Man, take a look at that card. Uh, we have, what is that one called again? I am always trying to remember my, wait, where did that go? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Um, the octahedron, octahedron in front of a square. Uh, I'll tell you why I have that. I can just show you right now. I don't have to be mysterious, but I have a little octahedron die here. I'm going to be doing um, a divine feminine pick a pick a pick a geometric shape for uh, this stargate, um, and I think I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. So look out for that. I have these. I was going to show you later, but might as well show you now. This is the doctahedron, twelve sides. The octahedron, eight sides. The icosahedron which is 20 sides and they have numbers on them and they're really shiny and shimmering let me show you so pretty i'm gonna when i do the the reading i'm gonna do a a video with so you can see these really good but anyway so I actually have this shape right here. And then I have the, uh, oh yeah, I should show you that one. And then this one's the trapezohedron. Trapezohedron. I'm so in love with these dice. So, okay. So anyway, the eight of wands with swiftness and that I could, no, the octahedron here the last card that flew out we're gonna keep it with that so we got one two three four five six seven eight cards and we have the eighth the number eight uh so really coming in strong with that infinity energy here um double eights and swiftness so really feeling this energy um big time here there is always going to be upheaval in a Stargate on some level, or there's going to be stuff coming up, stuff coming to light, changes, whether it's your decision or somebody else's decision or just the, you know, nature, um, whatever. There's, there's always going to be some kind of shakeup in your world. And also, like I said, that like energy to push things up to the surface for you to really feel feel it and that's what i'm going to get into more in the in the actual energy update but i'm doing this because i always like to get cards before um an energy update and just to get a, more insight more information from our guides about stuff and honestly these cards here knight of disc knight of discs works debauch um valor science princess of wands with all that fire energy peace and swiftness i love these cards so much um even debauch because you know what it's like there has to be that like i said there has to be some type of shake up going on and some type of you know pushing and triggering the buttons you know i mean if i had a dollar for every time i saw you know within the collective or people individually getting wound up and and just sparked in a stargate like one two days in a stargate to usually or somewhere in the star it's a long stargate it's 10 days with an 11 day the 11th day being that that landing day that like done day the last day when we're like where it slows back down because we're literally moving closer to the center of our or the galactic center and 
and we're doing it at a faster pace than any other time in the month is those 10 days. And um, it's not just Gaia, it's the sun, the whole solar system and beyond, like our whole quadrant of space is moving. And so it's always, like I said, dissolving timelines. I mean, people can just make these like, or get super emotional, super like one way or the other, like um, breakups, engagements, you know, things like this can, you know, definitely happen. And, and, um, and all that there's even how there's even like, how do I put this without making that? Wait, okay. It, there's even a thing where it's like if a baby's meant to be born in a Stargate, um, there will there will be and a placement in a Stargate. There will be a delay, or a in the birth, or a um, acceleration in the birth to get in that in that time period. Um, I've gotten that download before too, just for, for those of us who've already, you know, who can connect on that kind of level. Um, but anyway, okay. So, uh, swiftness definitely coming in here is the last card to really, really show and, and bring, let us know that things are moving quickly. Um, and we are to understand the changes coming and with the cards that we got before here with, um, we got peace twice actually. <laughs> and I didn't even notice I put the peace card right on top of the other peace card. Look at that. Peace. Oh my goodness. You guys, seriously, how great could that be? Like, don't we need peace? Of course we need peace. We need peace so we can... So we can see, you know, when there's chaos in our world, how can we move forward? <laughs> it's really hard to move forward when you're in chaos or the, or your, your little world or the world at large is in chaos. It's really hard to move forward. It's more like a being flung around this way and that way. And now we have this, a lot of peaceful energy coming in a lot, you know, to make things more peaceful. So things may, it's like the calm, the calm or the storm. And then the calm, you know, it's like there, that cycle of, is like what came first but in in this in this regard we have energy that needs to get either either you have already experienced this this like big shift and it's like now things are are swiftly moving to to set to set things up in in your new timelines or the the stargate is going to be the catalyst for that for that shift and there will be peace after one way or another this is coming and it is going to be peaceful so just know that know that with any kind of change and to go into it feeling a sense of peace so when these things happen you're like okay i know that this is happening this is all part of the matrix of time and timelines and the stargate when all these different things can happen it's like it feels rapid because a lot is going on in a sh very if you think about it in the scheme of things 10 days is such a small amount of time but to our human perspective it it doesn't seem like that necessarily and it's it's a good portion of our month, right? So it's, it's hard. It's hard. We need to have that perspective that really helps the first card out Knight of discs, um, Knight of pentacles, really a sense of that's the king. So the Knight is also the king. Uh, of discs and really a sense of purpose of of having everything that you need of being comfortable abundant steady happy wise uh all that good stuff with this knight of discs i love 
love this card. <laughs> uh, and and so there is work coming for us. There is energy coming for us. There is peace coming for us. And the science card with the uh, the six of swords. We have this like, see that balanced energy? Let me get this closer to you. Uh, and all of the, the lines going here and there. This is kind of like what it looks like to me when I'm explaining this matrix of timelines and the web of life and how we're all connected like I was 10 minutes ago. Um, that is a very, very kind. That's a really good kind of depiction of it. And if we just attribute that cross to not necessarily any given religion or the sim symbol of who or what it represents, but more of just divine, the divine connection to everything, see it that way. So you can integrate with this, with this uh, image of you know, maybe on a higher level than, than what typically the, that cross represents is what I'm hearing. Uh, and we have actually, so we have the circle, the diamond shape. Um, we have just so much going on here and that is truly but i love that it's that this that science is attributed to this and again this is the toth tarot by alistair crowley renowned this deck is is so deep connected with the tree of life and the the golden dawn um and the hermetic tarot so if you're interested in that in this type of of tarot um i don't get into it too too often because it just kind of is a can of worms <laughs> you could just go, fall down the rabbit hole kind of thing with it with the toast and the and the um the golden the the tree of life perspective on the tarot is is very deep um i highly recommend it for anybody who wants to get further into spirituality regardless of tarot it's a really great way to put a lot of things together so science because i love that because it's it is mathematical and scientific and energetic and mystical and all of those things at the same time and if we see it that way and we don't just see it as like oh it's like this who it's like woo woo thing it's like you know what there's a lot of stuff that that certain minds not too long ago would see us doing and think of it as magic but we are used to it and it's not magical to us because it's invention it's science it's it's like i'm being pointed to this guy you know you showed this to somebody a couple hundred years ago they'd think you were a freaking wizard but science figured all this out right to like what to do with the gas and the you know the the what is this called butane and this whole little uh mechanical doohickey we have here with this torch and that fire comes out of it not just like a flame but a torch you know i'm just like for it that was just pointed to that as an example so the more we expand our minds and let higher level understanding of how all this shit works permeate our under our, our programming and dissolves and delete certain programs that tell us that time is a certain thing and divinity is a certain thing and our soul is a certain thing and our our lives are a certain thing we need to obliterate all that shit because none of it is true what's true is the that it's so much more intricate and complicated and deep and and our um our under our perspective of it has been at a very like low like groundhog just like up out of the leg <laughs> like we're seeing from right here 
And we need to really elevate our understanding, our perspective of what is all out there. And we've, um, the way that things have been put in front of us is very right angle and the universe is curved. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Okay. Um, <laughs> So let's get a couple more cards here. And of course, as always, this is a lot longer than I th thought it was going to be getting into it. But, you know, I'm guided to get into and talk about whatever. And the cards that come, they come. And, you know, so if you're here with me, thank you for being here. What did we get? 963 hertz. <laughs> I'm partial to this. Um, true state of being 963. So when I was told we were going to work with this deck, it was like most likely going to be a frequency card that comes out to get our attention to really tune into and work with. So here we are with state of being or true state of being. More specifically, true state of being. Card number 31. What's that? Oh, 29. There we go. Let me read from the book. Take another look at this. Pause it if you really want to connect with it and just really take a look at this. Okay. Okay. And we have true state of being. A, it's a B, not a V, infinity. <laughs> I keep saying being. True state of being. I am. 963 Hertz has shown up as you are on the right path to discovering the all, the oneness, the connection to everything seen and unseen, heard and unheard, our true nature of being. You have awakened on your journey to self-discovery and self-healing. Your vibrational frequency is increasing and expanding as you follow your soul's path. This card is a reminder that life is a journey and not a destination. Honor all of who you are and what you represent. As we learn from life's le lessons, it brings us one step closer to fulfilling our obligations and being true to who we are. Along the way, we learn hardships, pain, humility, love, spirit, respect, conflict, happiness, and sadness, and all of these meld us into who we are today you are right on track <laughs> by using certain sounds and frequencies we are able to enhance our senses and create a deeper connection to spirit every sound has a different vibration and 963 has the sound of c s i that's why we have that big s i in the back and in the corners of this card <clears throat> okay there i am <laughs> i like lost it 963 963 hertz brings us to any brings us and any system back to its original state of being it's connected to the all our return to oneness spirit and our con direct connection to spirit Ugh. <laughs> this is why I love the number so much. It's like in my handle on most of my, all of my social media. Infinity underscore 963. 963 hertz and 963 hertz, I'm going to read this again, brings us and any system back to its original state of being. It's connected to the all. Our return to oneness, spirit, and our direct connection to spirit. It allows us to experience our true nature on every level imaginable. The number nine is the universal frequency. When we compound the number 963, 9 plus 6 plus 3, we get 9. Practical application. Keep following your heart and trusting your intuition. Accept guidance from spirit and practice stillness and meditation. Go 
let go of all control. Continue your journey as it feels right for you. Maintain balance and speaking from the heart and expressing your soul's desire. Keep an open channel to spirit and allow yourself to trust in the messages you receive. Live, love, laugh. If you draw the awakening card with 963, know your process is being accelerated. Honor it and work with it. Don't try to control the course you are on. Card numerology 9 and crystal suggestions, the 12 synergy stones, clear quartz, platonic solid set. I want one of those really badly. Um, clear quartz, morganite, and selenite. Oh, selenite. I, how I love you, selenite. If you don't have any selenite, get some right away. It's so good for clearing your field and connecting to spirit and just um, really getting, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. And really getting your, and it's broken on the tip because I dropped it, but it's supposed to have a pointed tip. But my cat's still, it's got cat hair all over it because I show this to my, especially my, my one cat, Little Bear, and she'll literally come running. It is the funniest thing. Um, so there we go. I love this card so much. I love this frequency so much. This is the, the, the frequency that I use when I do any and all of my healings. Um, right now we have the 1111 on, but it's, it really is so, such a, um, connecting, um, like I see it, I see like the waves coming in and just like getting you still and like becoming this like divine line, like the, the pillar of creation, the pillar of light that we're meant to be is like this. It's like the perfect thing. And I see those like frequencies that are all like and effed up coming into this alignment so we can channel down from spirit and connect to ourselves and in our own spirit and connect to spirit to the divine oh love it and coming in as a message the frequency for the stargate and it said if if you also get the awakening card know that this is being accelerated your connection to the divine your path your your journey is being accelerated and that's exactly what a stargate is about it's to help us accelerate and move things along um and connect to spirit connect to each other um through this um that process okay last card one hour, two minutes that I almost, I set that timer a little bit ahead of when I actually record. So again, thanks for being here. We're almost done here with these messages. And then um, if you have it, if I hope that you, whether you watch the energy update first when you were guided here or you watch this, please watch the energy update uh, that I'm going to be posting. And... <sighs> our card from the Hidden Worlds Oracle is number 17, Fairy Energy Growth Expansion of Flowering. Perfect, perfect, perfect card. I love it. Look at that. So we're the flower. We're the flower that's in bloom. We're the flower that's expanding. And our fairy uh, guides uh, that work with us are coming in to help us grow and expand. And not just, you know, obviously all of our, all of our divine counterparts. We've got the full moon in the background, this beautiful tree, the stars, flowers, the trees, the rolling hills, the forest in the background. This is just such a beautiful card. I love that every time this card comes out, it fills me with so much happiness and joy. And I just feel Gaia so deeply. And of course, the Fae. And they've been coming through really strongly <laughs> lately. Um, I moved stuff. 
stuff, but seriously, <laughs> why can't I see it? world oh oh my gosh I forgot I put them all the way over there <laughs> all the way over there up on top of a box where it's in, literally until I really bent over I couldn't see them so oh, I apologize for that Wow, is that okay? Card number 17, which is also an eight, I'm being reminded. So, our uh, it's like a triple eight here. Holy moly, that's in, it's intense energy! I can't wait to get to the energy update and tell you guys what's going on there. Okay, so fairy energy, growth, expansion of flowering. The time has come for you to expand and come more fully into the being you can be. Well. 963 definitely sending us this message too. So these two, <laughs> right on track. You are being offered the energy of opening up, of expansion, of flowering from the world of nature and the fae who will be sending energy to you for you to drink in. This will lead, and I'm hearing that deep breath, that's when they'll they'll be doing it like really hardcore when you're taking those deep breaths and bringing that in really intentionally had to just drop that in <laughs> before I left. This will lead to a sense of confidence and inner warmth, which will extend out from you. You will feel open and safe to share who you are. And there will be a sense of speaking more, sharing more, opening up and expecting not so much support from the world of the humans, but support from the world of the unseen ones. These are the beings who, as they open up the life force within the blossoming world, can also turn that energy to the humans they love, of whom you are one. So the beauty you now share with the world will change the world. You will offer something kind, something loving, and something true. The world of about you will blossom in return and this feeling will extend into the people who are around you there will be a time of love a time of caring a time when people are drawn to the radiance and beauty of your soul which shines into the world this gift is from the fairy but the love and blossoming you experience is simply what was meant to unfold from within you the Fae do this without expectation f for you as you are like a human flower to them. Thank them and care for the natural world in return. And this exchange of energy will flow on and on for it is drawn from the infinite source of love and illumination open up like a flower for you have so much beauty to show the world oh my good lord it's so awesome pages 68 and 69 that chu the yin and the yang the um that infinite that infinite balance of the masculine and the feminine within us ready to come in and blossom <gasps> Oh, wow. This feels so, so good for all of us. Again, this is messages for us all right now. This is not for for anybody individually. This is just the, the energy coming through for this Stargate, for us who are really looking to ascend, connect, rise, heal, um, know our soul, our soul purpose, our missions, and be on that path with openness about us. No fear, no trepidation, no doubt, um, letting go of hurt and pain and, and the past uh, blocks and things like this. And again, the breathing, the breathing, the outdoors, the focusing on what your body, what your intuition is telling you, because we, we did get here with um we got claire we got a couple of claires did we not yes we did we got 
clairvoyance and clairsentience. Let me reiterate for you before we go. Clairvoyance with Raziel. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And again, in my mind's eye, I saw the number eight. That, that and it and it is the number eight it's not the regular infinity that's on its side it's like the number eight because when we stand and we're like that pillar we connect down with our feet with Gaia we connect through our channel of energy um and we have more than the 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 seven main chakras that are in or that are like right at our body um, and the ones that go down into it like the earth star and the soul star that are above uh, uh, even above the crown chakra and down below our feet um so to consider that as well but he but raziel is coming in to say please 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 um know that so much is coming in for you to see and connect to the divine to spirit to your guides and clairsentience with raguel notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance so what keeps coming to you what is pushing on you before i was like in the know about stuff uh i would call it impress i feel like i'm impressed upon like there's just a, i i didn't call it guidance not or being guided now i do but it was like this this push to do something or this pull back not to do something but that inner guidance of of hearing that divine or feeling that energy one way or the other that's 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 something to not disregard you know and you know when you have disregarded it and you can think back and go yep I had that, <laughs> had that understanding, had that impression, but mm, I did it anyway. Like that was the story of my life as a young person because I needed to test. This was, this is my way. I'm not saying that's the right way. This is what I did up until the age of 18, actually. So it was a long one. <laughs> I was on this kick for a long time until it was a big, something was big, big enough at stake that I was getting so intensely impressed upon. Um, and it was about my car and not to leave it where I'd parked it for f years and that I wouldn't see it again. And this whole thing, of course, yeah, next day it was gone, never saw it again. And I went back to that car. I couldn't leave the car and I kept taking things out of the car and feeling like, you know, and I was, but there was no place else. To, well, from my perspective, there was no place else to park it. And without getting too deep into it, that was the catalyst for me to go, okay, I think I'm going to start paying better attention to this insane. It was like literally like somebody was pulling. It was so intense and it was so it was it was really it was like this progression throughout my life but what i would do is like i would get guidance and i'd be like oh really well if i follow the guidance how do i know it's right <laughs> i need to not follow it to see the reverse and then be like oh there it is and i did that a lot as an adolescent as a child and a lot not all the time i did follow my guidance um, a good amount of time like my guides are being like okay let's be fair about this you weren't always you know in defiance of it but I I was to a certain extent it's, there were times I was just curious especially when it was very specific like you do this 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 and this will happen I'd be like "Ooh, I'd love to see if that's true <laughs> I was just like <laughs> and it was, when it wasn't that like the stakes weren't too too high and it didn't involve like, you know, like, I don't know, it's hard to remember 18 years of practically of that or whatever it was. But yeah, but then after that one big thing happened and it was absolutely the way of it, I was like, well, shit, maybe I should really start not testing this anymore. I think it's been long enough and the stakes were pretty high and... And all that. Imagine going out to your car the next day and actually being gone. I actually did this thing where I walked around the whole complex being like, well, maybe I actually did move it. Where is it? I was like, went looking for it. Like it was just going to magically appear someplace I didn't put it. 
I was so jacked up from that experience because I literally lost my car. It was like, poop, gone forever. Kind of sucked. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But um, anyhow, there comes a point where we have to just push it all in and see and roll with whatever the the cards are that that come because we can't be one foot in and one foot out and it and expect real progress it just doesn't work that way and this whole business here is coming in to say look there are changes coming you need to be a, a real player in the game um, know that we're guided, know that we're, that we have all the tools to take us to the next place. We're being, uh, reminded with this card here from Metatron. Metatron, again, reminding me he's come out, come up twice here to pay attention to sacred geometry, work with your Merkaba and all that. But, um, and prioritization he's saying prioritize your time through the stargate it is going to feel like time is moving much faster especially as we move into day four of the stargate the eighth of the month uh coming up here quickly what time is it right now uh, 11 33 p.m we're really close upon that eighth day with all this eight energy and that infinite um energy coming in remind us of our infinite nature as a soul to give us comfort in the fact that we're ever evolving within this lifetime and on a soul base level we're never ever 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 going to be done going to be finished going to be ended it does not exist so take a deep breath Breathe out all the way and sit in the comfort of knowing that this is the only thing that we need to, to think about, to put focus on, is where we are right now. That there isn't an end game. There isn't a destination. I read that someplace here with the 963. It's all about the journey and every moment, every day every transitional period every season to season every year to year every stargate to stargate every lifetime to lifetime it's all a journey and that's that's also why my spirit name is infinity to remind us all that we are infinite in nature and to just take a deep breath and be in this and enjoy it revel in this beauty of our world the the amazing complex being that you are on a physical emotional energetic spiritual level and just kind of like float in that and be in control of your energy of the breath in of the breath out of the frequency and know that all of this is so divine and so are you all right guys i'm gonna get going now thank you so much for being here again I'm Infinity. Check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org, to see what I can offer you um, for yourself, just on your own to learn and grow and expand and evolve from, or working with me directly in healing, divination, mediumship, channeling, um, and anything really. Even crystal gathering. I do that. I'll go to the store and find you crystals and send them to you with the help of Gaia. So anyway, look into all of that. I am like giddy right now with all this energy. I just got the biggest smile on my face because it's just so awesome. And I'm feeling it because we we're in it for these few days. So it's really great to be here with you. I wish you the best month ever. And um, just know that this, this movement forward is just all good. Just stay with that. Just stay with that. Okay infinite love and blessings. Bye for now.